How does content quality and relevance impact SEO? Um, it's it's huge. So because Google's chief chief objective is to to help the searcher find what they're looking for, you know, find resolution. Whether that's you know if they have a buyer's intent, you know they they want to show sites where people will will purchase from, or that's an easy process. And if it's research based, then they want to make sure that you know that uh, when people visit the page, they get all their questions answered. So when we're thinking about content quality, we have to also think about like what is the purpose of the search, and are we giving content the not only the right amount of content, but giving it to people in a way that they can understand and absorb and 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 use effectively. Um, that can be huge. There's been times where I've seen sites that, that have a ton of content, so they meet the quantity, you know, uh, like th there's a decent amount of quantity, but there's the quality of it is not great. The flow of the content is not great. And because of that, the, the content is not easy to read and people will, they won't stay on the site as long. They might, if it's a, if it's a website where there's purchasing like e-commerce, they might not, they might not buy mm -hmm. uh, because like the, you know, maybe they're, they want in their technical specifications or reviews. Um, you know, if that co content's not there helping the, the user make an informed decision, then, you know, confused user doesn't buy. Um, a confused user doesn't keep on researching. They go find another resource that explains things better. That gives them the information in a better format. So content quality, you know, is a lot about like giving the user the information they need when they need it and how they need it. So um, a lot of times when you're doing, when you're looking at other competitors to see, you know, comparing content themselves, like it's always good to kind of read over their pages to see, you know, if they, not pages, but like whatever page they're trying to rank for and you're ranking for, see what kind of information that, that they have on their site and see what the logical flow of that information is, see what questions get answered, see if it makes sense where those questions get answered. And then also, you know, check it against your website. But and then also keeping keep in mind like what questions are you walking away with if you were a buyer? What's missing? And then trying to to fill in those gaps in a way that you know assists the user.